Hey Simmers and Animal Lovers, it's Erin with Ice Pony Gaming and welcome to the channel. Welcome back if we've seen each other before. This is going to be episode 20 of our shelter play along where we have Hugo who runs and operates this lovely Brindleton Bay animal shelter. As you can see, it is looking a little bare. We had amazing adoptions lately to your families that you've uploaded to that Ice Pony shelter play along. Hashtag in the gallery, and I so appreciate you guys doing that. I'd had some different plans for this episode that we were going to be downloading uh, one of your families that you guys have uploaded to be able to go ahead and play with in our game, but the gallery is being super weird <laughs> today, and it just kind of won't let me get into it, so we have other plans. Today we're going to be upgrading our stray shack. We're probably going to be getting a little bit of um, maybe a storage shed kind of thing for some of the shelter supplies. And then we are going to be filling these kennels. I'm so excited already. So we're going to go ahead, pause this and pop into build mode while Hugo is giving some love to Anfonio. We have got to get this boy a home. Let me tell you. We're going to be running an adoption. Ooh, <gasps> look, we have strays. Okay. I don't want to ruin this. Sorry, Anfonio. We're not training you. We have animals to save. We're gonna give her the friendliest introduction. And if we can get any of the others, is there anyone else here? Oh, it looks like it. Who are you? Oh, hi, Heidi. Where's she going? Oh, Cleo's asleep. Okay. Um, What about Olive? Because I know that we've seen her before. Oh my goodness. And we have Chichu. Oh, is she going to sleep too? Don't go to sleep. Your destiny awaits. Let's adopt her. Oh, poor Chichu. Oh my goodness. Are we sure we want to adopt this pet? Yes, we are. You guys haven't seen, but in previous episodes, he's tried to adopt her so many times, but the game keeps glitching and won't let him. So little Olive is finally off the street. And if you guys like the name Olive, we'll keep that. Um, otherwise, do what you always do, comment a name suggestion down in the comment section and we will get her all christened. But otherwise, hi, Olive. Right before we put Olive away. Oh, he's meeting Chichu. This name definitely has to change if we can adopt Chichu. Oh, Chichu looks sad. So I think we can either do three dogs. Um, let's give her a treat and let's get to know chichu are you a boy or girl chichu's a boy okay he's vocal all right good job and let's play with him a little oh my goodness is he vocal so we can either do three dogs or we can do two dogs and a cat and since we've already got our cat room with bubbles in it i think we want to go ahead and fill all of these dog kennels can we adopt yet? I don't think so, but oh, look at that little guy. Let's give a big treat to Olive and we'll just pet Chichu. I'm already thinking that we're gonna be grabbing one of your name suggestions for him. That would be super fitting. Man, where did he go? Oh no, I've lost Chichu. Uh, okay, well, I guess he had other things to do. But let's see if we can grab Cleo. Is Cleo leaving? Yeah, Cleo's leaving. Oh, why? Okay. So how about Peaches? We'll see. Oh, Peaches looks sick. Who are you? Can I adopt you? Yeah, I can give the friendliest introduction. But since Heidi's awake, why don't we do Heidi? Poor Peaches looks sick. We gotta let her sleep, poor thing. All right, so he just became acquaintances and good friends with Heidi. Let's play with her a little. Oh, we have a raccoon here. Why can't he adopt them? Oh, hi, prayer. Oh, okay. Well, I can't click on Heidi anymore. Maybe I can only adopt one stray a day. I don't know. I don't feel like that's the way it should go. Okay, so we're going to try this. It's being really weird. Everybody's getting stuck. So why don't we take off the cat hangout and dog hangout? Why don't we just... Put them back, then we'll go back to live mode. Poor Olive. Okay, so we are gonna lecture her about drinking from a puddle because that's how you get sick, little girl. And then we're gonna lecture her about barking because we don't need to do that. And we're gonna pet her. Okay, Hugo, let's grab her. Perfect. 
And we're gonna fill Olive's bowl and then we're gonna get her a toy out to play with. All right, sweetie. Let's see, how about Anfonia, we don't drink from puddles. How about that? Aw, look, she's playing. Good girl. <gasps> yes, he's learned not to drink from puddles. Great. So I saw that that was gross. And then as he's cleaning that, is there anyone else that we can take in? Let's give Sadie the friendliest introduction because we've also tried to adopt Sadie too. And this looks like Olive's twin pretty much. Oh my goodness, it's getting so late. Aw. All right, great, we're acquaintances. <gasps> let's adopt. All right, let's not question this. Perfect, it's fixed. Let's just do this. Yes, we want to adopt. Okay, Sadie, again, the name can stay. Otherwise, I need suggestions for Sadie. Sadie and Olive look like they're the same breed of dog. So it'll be interesting to, to see how their personalities develop. But welcome, Miss Sadie pick Sadie up. It looks like she might be an energetic dog. Poor girl. Okay. And let's put her down here next to her twin. I can't wait to give them their bandanas. Let's rough house a little with Sadie and we're going to fill that bowl. There we go. We're going to give our, our relationship up. Looks like Sadie has a little curly cue tail. Whereas, Oh no, Olive does too. That is so interesting. Maybe they were long lost litter mates or maybe they were like dogs that were owned before by the same owner. I think these guys are schnauzers, uh, but I'm not sure, like little miniature schnauzers. Maybe they were owned by the same folks and they got lost, who knows? Let's get Sadie a toy. All right, do we have any more dogs on the lot? I think we have a kitty. So then the fates have decided. Who are you? You are Bobby. Let's give Bobby a friendly introduction. Poor Bobby needs to be seen. I hope we can adopt Bobby in. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a lot of work, you guys. Olive already has to use the bathroom and we're not there to tell her to do it outside. But just became acquaintances with Bobby. Let's comfort Bobby because they're sick and let's pet Bobby. Please let me adopt. We want to help you. He just became friends. No, don't, don't say bye. Don't say bye. No, let's ask Bobby what the matter is. He's sick and should probably see a vet. I want to help. I want to help. I want to help. Unfortunately, I think it's glitching again. Let's go in and reset it. Perfect. Request a song from Bobby. Oh man, okay, I wish I knew what was doing that. Maybe, okay, there's Cleo. Unfortunately, we cannot adopt Bobby for some reason, but hopefully we can get to Cleo. Yes, oh my gosh, we can adopt Cleo. We will worry about Cleo's traits later. Taking care of a new pet's a big responsibility. Do we wanna adopt Cleo? Yes, we do. Oh no, this is Mango. Whoops, so hi Mango. <laughs> I actually don't think Mango's a terrible name for this dog. Um, because of the coloring, but if you guys like Mango, we'll keep Mango. If not, there are definitely some names that we could name them. Oh, thank goodness. Gosh. Well, that took like literally all day, but we have three dogs off the streets. He is so hungry. Let's take a look. Is Cleo a male or female? Cleo's a female. Okay, perfect. So let's, let's leash Cleo. So all of our dogs are female that we adopted in today. I think it's a little late to be, let's go here and let's pop this in our inventory, give Cleo a little bit more space. I think it's a little bit late to be fixing everybody. So we're just gonna let them be. And let's see, one, two, three. Oh, we're a full kennel again. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, so we are doing what a shelter should be doing. Can we get to know her? I just want to make sure. Okay, so it looks like she's a curious dog. She's a hunter, which is great. I mean, she's an Ibizan hound and she's probably friendly. So I think she'd be okay for Anfonio, but I don't know. He needs more of a slow introduction. So we're just going to keep this fence up between them for the night. And let's see. Oh my goodness. There's Sadie going nuts. Let's have him clean these litter pans and then he's gonna go home and say hello to our foster babies. 
Look at these good guys. So we have Oxford, who is a sim self of a real life cat available for adoption at Best Friends Animal Society in Salt Lake City, Utah. He is our newest foster, and we will be playing along with him until he is adopted in real life. And then we have Tito, who I think is, yeah, let's clean this, who is coming outside to bark. I think he's trying to greet Hugo. We'll give Tito special smooches when we come in. We'll hug our English gentleman, Oxford. And then now that he's said hi to everybody, I'm gonna do some playing off screen a little bit to get it ready for the next day. And I will see y'all in the morning. All right, guys, so it is morning time. He's gonna give, Hu I'm sorry, he's gonna give Tito some special smooches. We don't need to clean the litter pan, which is great. And we're gonna feel the love from Tito. Let's play with our cat wand with Oxford. And Tito is a sim self of an animal that is also available for adoption through the Boys County Humane Society. Uh, he's been with us for a little while, so we will also be playing with him for as long as he is still available for adoption. Gosh, Oxford is so cute, oh my goodness. And so far he's been a really well-behaved cat. Like he hasn't really been up on any of the surfaces or furniture, not that I've seen at least. He's been, Hugo's been really busy and today is going to be another busy day for him. We're gonna get everybody fixed. All right, cool beans. So I think first things first, the lighting is pretty good. So we're gonna go into build mode, get more of a top-down view. We're gonna take away this privacy fence. That'll give us a little bit more money to work with. It'll allow currently Mango and Infonio to be able to socialize a little bit. Litter pans are clean, awesome. We're gonna move those off to the side. And I feel like there was a toy, yes, in here. And we're gonna move the feeder. And then this can all move. Yeah, we're gonna move that here. And we're gonna grab our roof and pop it back on here. I think we are also going to give this a door. And I was thinking about it, this has more of like house vibes to it, I think. I am thinking that for something like this, for a shed, they would have probably had some like corrugated metal, like one of those prefab buildings. So I think we are going to be doing that. Eco lifestyle, perfect. All right, that is definitely more shed-like. Maybe we'll have a white door, boop. All right, wonderful. Let's also give it some windows, something nice for the cats and dogs and all of that to be able to look out and survey in. I think that's about perfect. Are those even? I don't know if those are even. No, they're not. I think they are now. And they don't use them like this, like these little windowsills, but I like to imagine at least that the cats would be like up and sitting in the windowsill. Let's grab our bed. And I was thinking about this too. What if we got them a little bit more of a shed roof? I like the idea of it being more covered. Cause some animals are shyer than others. They may not be comfortable going all the way in a an enclosed building, especially so close to others, but they may be more trusting of something that's more open outside where they can see escape routes. And we just want it to help them. Perfect. Um, I think we can't really see this in the snow because it snowed overnight, but why don't we do a solar shingle roof? It's free and it's much more eco-friendly, which I feel like vibes really well with a shelter message. All right, so there's what we're working with so far. Is there a doorway? There is a doorway. Let's get rid of that. Great, let's try to center this. All right, so here's our little shed for them. Let's go ahead and bring over, we're gonna have an outdoor litter pan and something to play with away from the litter pan because that's gross. We're gonna have food and how about an indoor litter pan? There we go. And then let's fill it with some pet stuff. We got the money. So let's do some indoor food as well. Okay, so we've got a bed. Why don't we do another? And we'll do a few more. I think that these are super cute. Oh wait, what if we did green eggs and ham? There we go. That might be green eggs and steak, but you know, we, we all know it's fine. Actually, now that I'm thinking of it, let's give them covered cat boxes because 
cats are actually really private about their bathroom habits. They're more comfortable if it's not out there on display for everybody. There we go. And how about, how about we get this awesome cat bed? Is that up near the, yes, it's up near the windows. Okay, great. So they can go ahead, look out and survey from a safe distance. Wonderful. Okay, we're good there. So we've got litter boxes, we've got food outside, inside, we have toys, we have beds. That's great. Why don't we also do a covered bed outside just because, and we'll probably do some more food. And then I feel like they also need some furniture because, you know, pet stuff is nice, but if we can give them, I don't know, something close to what they would have in a home, Yes, perfect. We'll do that. Maybe they can chill out on the couch if they prefer to. And let's throw down some rugs to warm up the place. Let's do the eco lifestyle rugs because they're really industrial and I feel like they would hold up really well to outdoor living. This one's like super nice. I want to give them a nice place, but I also don't want our stuff ruined. <laughs> Yes, we'll slap that down. I think these are probably gonna be our better bet. They look a lot more able to stand up to use. All right, so now it's not gonna be so cold on their little tootsies. And then speaking of that, I wanted to put like this cute little stove back here, but I don't feel like that's very um, safe, responsible, all that, because he doesn't spend a whole lot of time back here. So we'll go to appliances and maybe it's an electronics. Yes, it is. And we are going to put in a little thermostat. Our bills are gonna go up so high. And for privacy, oh my, we have to stop spending money. Whoops, never mind. We're done. Woohoo! This is the place. Yay! I thought we were going to get like a storage shed. We're not. Um, that is that is incorrect. <laughs> so maybe we'll convert that as we get like pet supplies and things like that. So we are all done with that. And Hugo, I hope, man, that you switch into your winter gear because we need to go over, clean litter boxes, and put out bowls. Fill that bowl, fill that bowl, fill that bowl, fill that bowl, and fill that bowl. How about you change into your cold weather outfit so you don't freeze to death, dude? I cannot believe that he went over in his jammies. Gosh. It's not super early. It's like 9.30. I know, buddy. Once we go ahead and get our three new arrivals spayed, we're going to go ahead and take Anfonio for a jog. Poor guy. Hopefully we can meet somebody for him as well. Let's ask her to go potty. Oh, goodness. We're going to ask to go potty. Oh, look. <gasps> is she going? She is. I think she is going to our shed. Oh, she's going to go knock over. Why are you sleeping by the garbage can? There's a whole building. And then we'll ask Mango to go potty too. Oh my goodness. They both went potty. Good girls go and potty outside. Yeah, no, Sadie, we don't drink from puddles. Olive will be our first pet that we spay today. Oh goodness. Look at everybody. Oh, poor ragtime and peaches. I am so sorry, guys. We'll get you. We will absolutely get you. Oh, look. Luke is loving it. Okay. And we are going to begin spaying Olive. I was hoping that we could adopt a sick pet so that we could treat them, but it just didn't work out that way quite yet. We will get to them though. All right, Olive. There we go. She's been spayed. Wonderful. I don't remember. This one is Olive's. Put her down here. This is gonna get super confusing. <laughs> I think I'll wait to give them their makeovers until they're healed from surgery and we have their forever names, or at least their shelter names. Let's uh, lecture again about not drinking from the puddle and we'll hug her to let her know we still love her even though we were not thrilled with her behavior. <gasps> Ooh, has she learned? Has she learned? Oh no, today's mail's been delivered. How much do we owe? $3,778. Oh my gosh, that is going to be really tough. Maybe we can dive for some deals because this is so full. Ooh, it is expensive running a shelter. Sadie's been spayed. Wait a minute. Where's your cone? Okay, so she has it on. We just can't see it because of her hat. So let's pick her up and put her down in her kennel. 
All right, we'll give her a toy and then we are gonna grab Miss Mango and fix her. All right, awesome. She's been spayed, wonderful. So, something seems to be wrong with her. We'll ask her what the matter is. What's up with you, girl? Are you sad? Aw, she's in need of attention. Okay, well, I can't really do much with her, unfortunately. Let's leash her and we will go here with her. And now it is time. Let's give him a hug and we are gonna go on a jog with Anfonio. Poor boy, he's like, I just want exercise and love and attention. I cannot wait to find him a home. I think he is definitely gonna be next on our list to go to one of the townies probably so that we can see him around quite a bit. I think I might already have one in mind, but we shall see. So as Hugo is taking Anfonio out for a walk in this cold December day, if Anfonio is anything like my prayer, um, he, the cold does not phase them. It doesn't matter that they're short coat dogs. They love it. Oh, look, it's Bonnie and Aurora's place. Um, so as he is taking a walk with Anfonio, who is loving this, <laughs> then I will go ahead and leave this here. Thank you guys so much for playing along with me. I cannot wait to see you next time. Happy simming.